Hi guys, and welcome to another speed paint. <laughs> I'm painting a ghost in February because I can, I'm an adult, and I can do what I want. <laughs> the cemetery that I used as reference for the painting was the Bonaventure Cemetery in Savannah, Georgia, and there are so many beautiful pictures of it, and I used several different pictures as reference because I didn't want them... I didn't want like a photo realistic copy of it. I just wanted to get an idea of what it looked like and then kind of do my own interpretation of it. And it was a lot of fun and I was really happy with how it came out. My family's actually planning a trip to Savannah, Georgia. Hopefully it'll be this spring and hopefully we get to stay in a haunted inn and hopefully I'll get dragged out of bed by something I can't see and hopefully I'll get a picture of it, but no promises. So it's really hard to see in the beginning of the video, but um, the painting is of a cemetery angel, the one that's holding the flower wreath, and there's supposed to be a ghost girl sitting um, right in front of her. And then I've got that tree in the background. I had a lot. I had a lot of fun painting this one. I liked the background colors and how the shrubs and stuff blended into the background. And this was my first time painting Spanish moss, and that was an experience. <laughs> it, was, it was hard to paint around it. Um, I had to leave it till the end, really, to paint, because it's supposed to be such a soft color, and it was hard to get the darkness of the tree behind it, but I'm really glad how it came out. I really love painting trees, and I forgot how, how much fun that was. I kind of wanted to talk about my very first job. The first job that I ever had was in October. It was after I graduated high school. And I mentioned before in a previous video how shy I was as a kid. And as a young adult, really, I'm still really shy. And the scariest thing I ever did was apply to work at a haunted house in October for Halloween because I didn't want to sit home on Halloween. It's my favorite holiday and I love it so much. And so I applied to work at a haunted house <laughs> in my hometown. And it was the most terrifying thing I've ever done. <laughs> um, I went there thinking that I would be more behind the scenes. I thought I could help with the costumes and decorating, and that sounded like fun to me. And when I showed up, it was a really secluded location, and I went there alone, and I was so scared. My knees were shaking. <laughs> the house that they were going to do it in was this old, creepy, dilapidated house, and it was already halfway decorated, and it looked like people had been murdered there, and it was terrifying, and there were so many scary people there. <laughs> I was just so- I was scared of everybody back then, but, like, there, there were some scary people there. I was terrified. And so I went up, I was really proud of myself for actually getting out of the car and going up to see what was going on and to see if I actually wanted to work there. And I just, I made it all the way there and it just seemed like such a waste to turn around and go back home. So I stayed <laughs> and it was the best thing I've ever done in my entire life. I was supposed to work behind the scenes, but the girl that was supposed to work in the kitchen scene didn't show up the next day. So the second day that I was there, the lady that ran it asked me if I could be the fridge girl because <laughs> the fridge girl hadn't shown up. And in the kitchen, it was supposed to be like a, a butcher scene. Um, there was this huge guy that had a bloody apron and a mask and he was um, supposed to grab a girl and drag her into the back and this door would slam, this glass door, it was like frosted glass and then you'd see blood splatter and um, as the crowd would go through and that was great. Luckily I wasn't that girl but he was a really nice guy, the butcher was a, a nice guy. <laughs> so the fridge girl, there was a refrigerator sitting on its side 
um, on top of the cabinets like it had fallen over. It was really creepy and it was old and it was um, just on its side and the fridge girl is supposed to sit on top of the refrigerator and open the door and the door would fall open and slam against the cabinets and make a really loud sound and terrify everybody and <laughs> so I agreed to do it and um, I agreed to get inside the fridge <laughs> because I was the only one who could fit and so that's what I did for a month. I sat inside of a refrigerator and screamed and slammed the door open and I scared so many people and it was the best feeling in the world <laughs> and I would do it again a million times. The people there all did such a great job. There were so many different rooms. There was like an execution scene that was terrifying. The front room was all clowns and I'm, I'm so lucky I'm not afraid of clowns. I don't, they don't really bother me at all. <laughs> um, they were all really nice guys. <laughs> and um, everybody was so nice to me. Um, they would all, like the butcher and some clowns would walk me to my car in the middle of the night because you know, at, at 3 a.m. when we were all going home, they were afraid that they're like, you never know who could be hiding in the in the woods. <laughs> and they're the scariest people there, you know. <laughs> there was like a room, uh, like a torture room, and then there was a whole different section outside where we had a uh, haunted trail through the woods, and that was great. Um, one night they took uh, turns letting all of us go through other people's sections to see what they were all doing, and so it was really cool. Um, like, on the way out of the haunted house, there was a dark back room where when you were walking through it towards the back door, this uh, <laughs> they had the front of a truck like no engine or anything, but the headlights would turn on and these people behind it would like sh push it towards you so you think a truck is coming at you inside of a building and like you couldn't see it so it was really shocking when the headlights would come on and you just see it coming at you all of a sudden and of course there was a, a thing to stop it but but it scared so many people and it was so much fun and usually I'm terrified of that stuff like I would never go through a haunted house like that. I went through one haunted house with a friend when I was in high school and it scarred me for life. I don't like that at all. I don't like I don't like things jumping out at me. <laughs> I like spooky things. I don't like really horrifying scary things. But it was so cool to work um, in inside of it with everybody else and to see what went on behind the scenes and it, they're just regular people, they're like really cool people. And it was such a great experience for me to have. So I guess what I'm trying to <laughs> get around to is just to say that it's always so good to go out of your comfort zone and learn to do new things and it was the best thing I could have done for myself because I was so shy. After that I worked for four years in retail so I got a lot of experience working with people but the haunted house was, <laughs> it's just zero to sixty, you know? <laughs> So suddenly, like I'd never spoken to anybody in my entire life except my family, and then all of a sudden I'm screaming. Like I would not scream if I was on fire, you know? Like I don't want to bother anybody. <laughs> so it was really cool to be able to work in that place and get that, um, that experience. So it was really a good thing to go out of my comfort zone and figure out that I can do stuff like that if I want to and if I need to. And I just, the people there were amazing, and I hope they're doing okay now, because I miss them sometimes. <laughs> they were all so nice. And, um, yeah, I just, I think it's great to try new things and do something that scares you. Just really do something that scares you. And I think that's why I wanted to talk about it during this video. Um, ghosts. <laughs> I love I love ghosts and like I said I hope I get to go to Savannah this spring and I hope we get to go on some ghost tours and sleep in a haunted hotel and I hope I I hope I see something. <laughs>
And of course you want to use your best judgment when it comes to stuff like that. <laughs> do like do something that scares you, but don't do anything dangerous and just always make sure to stay safe. Um, look ahead, make sure you know where the place is, make sure you know it's legit, and yeah, uh, just don't do anything dangerous, always stay safe. As for the materials that I'm using for the painting, I used Arches watercolor paper and a single water brush. <laughs> Um, I love the water brushes because you can put water inside of them and you just press on them to get water to come out and it saves a lot of time having to get clean water and everything. Um, I used the Magello Mission Gold watercolors and I really, I've really loved using those so far. I haven't had any problems with them. They make beautiful colors and, and you can mix them and they're amazing. I also used my Prismacolor Color Erase pencils um, to add details and different shades to the cement, um, and also my Signo Uniball white gel pen. And all of the materials will be listed down below if if anybody's interested. <laughs> also, all of my social media will be listed down below. I'm on Etsy and Instagram, and I think that's it. <laughs> Also, I hope the voiceovers are getting better. I know I sounded really stiff and uh, weird in the first few videos, but uh, the only way to improve is just to keep practicing. At least I keep telling myself that. At least I hope it's getting better. <laughs> I know the, the last couple of videos I kind of used a script because I would just freeze up whenever I got behind the microphone, um, but I didn't do that this time. This is just me talking. So hopefully it's getting a little better, and I, I feel a little more comfortable now, but um, if anybody has any tips or advice for how to improve with uh, voiceovers, I'd love to hear it, so <laughs> leave it in the comment section below, please. Um, any help I can get, I'll take it, you know? <laughs> Thank you guys uh, to everybody who commented on my last video, it really meant a lot to me and I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching this video if you made it this far. <laughs> um, yeah, I just wanted to say thanks. Um, I hope, I hope uh, you guys stick around, I hope uh, you give the video a like and subscribe if you, if you enjoyed it. I plan on doing more ghost paintings soon and yeah, because they're really fun for me. and. Uh, yeah, if anybody has any more suggestions for another cemetery I could use or other ideas that I could paint, um, be sure to leave them down below, because I'm always open to suggestions. You guys have great ideas. Okay then, um, you can find me on Instagram and Etsy if you, if you want to follow me. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!